Hi there and thanks for joining us. Today we are going to build a simple Hello World app using React and Webpack. What we're looking at here is a package.json file which should be familiar to anyone who's uh, ever seen a Node.js app. The bulk of these files is usually a list of dependencies and for us that's going to be uh, a couple of regular dependencies which is React and React DOM and a bunch of development dependencies which includes Babel, Browser Sync, and Webpack items. Now, if you're not familiar with these things, I'll go over them briefly. React is a JavaScript framework created by Facebook for making single page apps, and it actually includes some syntax that's not recognized as JavaScript by most browsers. And so that's where Babel comes into the picture here. Uh, Babel is going to compile everything down into JavaScript that the browsers can understand. And to do that, we actually have to give Babel a few presets uh, the presets are going to tell Babel what type of syntax to look for. And so we're using um, syntax that's specific to React. That's going to be our JSX syntax. And we're also going to be using ES2015 or ES6. That is the uh, new version of JavaScript that is also not implemented in most browsers. We also have a couple of browser sync plugins. This is what's going to enable us to make a code change and have our browser reload automatically, uh, which is really going to make the development process go a little bit smoother. And we also have the Webpack plugins, and what that is going to do is basically turn our Node.js app into a web app. It's going to bundle everything together into a single bundle JS file and uh, start a server. And we'll see that in action here in a little bit. Um, this is just the first part of our config process. There are actually three different configuration files that we'll need. The next one is our webpack config, so let's take a look at that. Here we have just a few options, and uh, that includes the entry point of our application, which is going to be a main.js. It also includes where to put the bundle, and this dev tool option allows us to debug in ES6. Uh, so for example, when we're in our browser, uh, when we're using our browser's debugger, instead of looking at the JavaScript that Babel is going to compile this down to, we can actually step through the uh, ES6 source code that we're writing. Uh, this loaders section is where Babel actually gets brought into the picture, and the plugin section is where we will tell it to use browser sync. The last part of this is a .babelrc file, and that just contains a presets field uh, that has the presets that we installed from our package.json file. It's actually not enough just to install those. You need to explicitly tell Babel uh, which ones you're using. Um, so we have our configuration set up, and I've actually already installed all of these packages with an npm install. Um, if you're following along, you're going to want to have an, uh, node and npm installed on your system, and this is assuming some, familiar, some familiarity with those tools. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going building our app. Uh, this is a Hello World app, so we're going to create a Hello component that displays that message. So here I have a hello.js file, and this is a node module. The first thing that we usually do in node modules is we import other modules. Uh, so we're going to import the React, uh, uh, the React library, and we're, what we're going to export is a React component called hello. A React component needs a render method, and for our purposes, we're just going to return an h1 tag with the hello world message. Now, this is actually going to be all that we see on our browser page, but we're going to need a little bit more than this to uh, get things running. Uh, for one thing, you'll recall that our, pack, uh, that our webpack config file listed a main.js as our entry point, and we haven't done anything with that yet. So let's go ahead and create a file by that name and create a Node.js module for that. So now I'm in my main.js file, and uh, again, I'm going to start by importing some modules. And that includes the hello component that we defined uh, just a second ago. And we're going to render a, our app is actually going to be a React component. And that's because a React app is really just a component that's made up of uh, smaller components. 
So at, like any other component, it needs to have a render method. And that's just going to return a single div with our hello component. And finally, we're going to use React DOM to render our app component. And it's going to look for uh, this element uh, with the app ID. So what that means is we're going to have to create an HTML file that has a container with that ID. So let's go ahead and do that. So as is uh, the typical convention, I'm just going to have an index.html file. This is a basic HTML document. It has a head with a title and it has a very simple body that's just going to the, uh, include the container element uh, that we were referencing in our, uh, our main.js and it's going to include a script tag that's going to bring in the bundle.js that contains all of the JavaScript uh, that we have for our application. So let's save this and now I have everything that I need uh, to render my hello world message. So let's start the app. If you look in the package.json file, there's actually this scripts section, and, to, and the start script will kick off Webpack dev server. So let's give it a try with npm start. Now here's my hello world component rendered on the page. That concludes today's lesson. Uh, join us for our next video where we will look at adding state to this component.